augmented reality, such as Microsoft's HoloLens, and virtual reality, such as Facebook's Oculus, represent huge potential areas of growth in the technology sector. Sales of virtual reality headsets are expected to more than double each year over the next five years. By 2020, AR and VR revenues, which include not only the headsets but also software and content, are projected to reach $162 billion from $5.2 billion in 2016. Analysts have been predicting huge growth for years, but challenges have stunted the market's growth. There is a lot lacking, including, most importantly, consumer understanding. Google Glass kind of gave the whole gig a bad name. Uh, privacy was a big concern. Um, and frankly, we haven't seen any really uh, consumer-oriented, head-mounted uh, glasses. At CES, companies showcase new, more immersive technologies that may help spur demand. One of the big areas that Intel's really excited about is merged reality, and that's where we look to blend in the real world with the digital world. And by blending those two capabilities together, you get a new set of experiences. I think people have been introduced to AR through a phenomenon called Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is a very basic AR, so you get a Pokemon to overlay to the real world, but if you start moving towards the Pokemon or try and go behind the Pokemon, nothing happens. The Tango technology built by Google and uh, collaborating with us on this device, uh, the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro, made it possible for us to actually take advantage of the physical space. So the result is that you actually can walk behind an object that is in AR in front of you, that you can actually get very close to it, up to if it's a furniture chair, for example, get to the level of fabric you have. It's still too early to tell which company will be on the winning end of this potential surge in demand. Samsung, Oculus, Sony, and HTC are all names to watch on the hardware side, while Intel and Microsoft are investing heavily in improving software and services. Apple has even expressed interest in getting involved in augmented reality, but has yet to release a product. I think Apple will probably enter the market. That said, you know, Apple is sort of rapidly um, falling behind. I mean, I think unlike other cases where Apple comes in a little late uh, by intention, in this case, there's a lot of innovation going on from very major companies like Microsoft, Intel, Samsung, and startups like ODG. Augmented and virtual reality are similar in a lot of ways. But augmented reality could be the bigger of the two long term because it has already proven a useful tool for business and engineering. We believe at Lenovo that in the next three to four years, there will be a tipping point where the trend will move towards AR being the bigger uh, uh, market potential. AR takes a little bit longer, but its potential for changing the way we do things and how fast we do them is bigger, much bigger.